It's the Insane Board Game Freak Show! That's right. Includes dirty two connectable groceries. Ready, set, go! Fill your cart, then race to checkout first. Collect groceries from your list. Stack them in your cart. Launch when you win. Shop, stack, and race to the finish in this episode. <laughs> Grocery go karts. The board game. Quick to the board game room. <laughs> All right, all you board game freaks out there, it's Grocery Go-Karts, the board game. Uh, the board game. You noticed that, right? Okay. All right, let's crack this baby open and see what it's all about. All right, so now in this game, this is a different kind of game box. Looks like a box of donuts that you open up and grab out the uh, donuts. Uh, you had components coming in here. This is new thing now with, like, ever since, I don't know, I, I have with my Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem Monopoly. They're doing this now. Plastic free packaging except tape and glue. And the dice and the other components. <laughs> so anyway, that's cool though, All right, They want to save the environment a little bit, you know. Do what you can, right? All right, cool. So now, this box I saved, it's cool. You're going to open it up. You're going to get the, the shopping carts. Today. I'll show you what that's all about. You're going to get the pieces here. You know, your shopping list and stuff. I'll show you that. Hey, look. It's uh, one of those Groucho Mark glasses. I used to have those when I was a kid. I used to put them on when I was a kid. I used to go, that's no banana. That's my nose. I cha cha Like Jimmy Durante. Back at my grandma's house, you know. Like, he used to play like... uh dress up and stuff and Halloween whatever <laughs> anyway so it's got nothing to do with uh the game but <laughs> that's no banana that's my nose a cha 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 <laughs> all right cool anyway so you get these um the grocery card uh instructions this game's really easy to play here's the board all right and that's it that's the box all right, cool. All right, um, let me set this up, and I'll show you how to play. Ta -da! <laughs> you got the shopping carts here. That's cool. I like that. All right, all you board game freaks out there, it's grocery go karts, the board game. All right, so now in this game, you're gonna get um these really uh cool uh, shopping carts. I kind of like them. I mean, like uh, yo. Know, just as much as the um, the Toys R Us board game uh, shopping carts, but there's a surprise at the end of the game. You're gonna spill out your um, groceries to celebrate at the end of the track at the uh, checkout uh, space over there when you win. So you're gonna get the um, different uh, what do you call it uh, carts here. You're gonna get I'm Speedy Cart. Blink and you'll miss me. I'm stylish, cart. I'm fast and fashionable. I'm silly, cart. I may be funny, but my skills are no joke. And then you have, uh... I'm smiley, cart. Don't let the smile fool you. I'm serious about winning. Alright, cool. Good for you. So, anyway, um... You're gonna get this board here, and then you're gonna get uh, these coupon cards. These groceries that you gotta put... In here, coupon cards. Now, the cards, they pretty much throw, like, the whole, you know, uh, game at you as if, like, you know, they, they really want you to win, okay? So, all these, um, there's not one bad card in here to get that's going to hinder you from winning in the game. They're all benefiting you and your benefit to, uh, you know, win. So, you'll get, like, 
you know, add one item to your cart, add two blue or orange, you know, stuff like that. It's always constantly like that. There's never any, like, go back a space or miss a turn or... Because these are your coupon cards, so coupons are good, right? So you're going to have that, and you're going to put them over here in the coupon card space. You're going to shuffle them up. You're basically just going around the board. You're going to roll this die here, and whatever color you roll, so I rolled an orange, so let's just say I'm red, right? So I'm going to have to go to the orange space. Now you can, they say you can start with a loaf of bread in your wagon. But um, to add more challenge, you don't have to. But each player is going to get a list of, you know, stuff that they got to get. So let's just say, for example, we're not playing with the uh, bread in the cart already. You're going to start out with, you know, two of each kind. So you would go and set up your um, game like this. And they got little faces on them, too, like the Shopkins. This game is kind of like a Shopkins game that I once had, but a little bit different. But anyway, or all you board game freaks out there, it's go-karts, grocery go-karts game, the board game. All right, so now you're going to set the game up. You're going to have your different lists, but while you're playing, this is an example of how the game's going to look. You're going to have these um these carts going around with stacks of groceries in the cart. You're going to be basically looking for all your groceries that you need, but... You know, by landing on different spaces. So, for example, I roll a die and I land on orange. I'm going to have to grab one of my orange things off the list if I'm the red cart. Okay? You know. Um, and then sometimes you'll land on, you know, coupon spaces. But you just simply draw a coupon card and it says stack up the deals. Add three blue, green, or orange items. So, three of blue or green or orange items, but only three of one of these colors. So you pick a color. So if I wanted three blue or three green or three orange, I would put that in my wagon. But then also, I would have to see if I, if I still have it, you know, that I need to check off my list and put it in my wagon, you know. Or I would, so that that's basically it. You'd be going on the board doing the same thing the whole entire time up until you're full and you all your stuff is off the list and in your cart. And then you got to make it around to the green space and then head off to the checkout point and then you win. And that's basically it. That's grocery go-karts. Now, um, more in-depth instructions about this game. I played the game, you know, a few times before. You know, I got this game a few nights ago. But, um, you know, I'm like, uh, should I get it? I'm like, yeah, probably, yeah. I mean, if you see it at a thrift store for about a few bucks, definitely grab it. But, um... The game is cool, you know, for what it is. It's mostly for kids, you know, but these carts are really cool. So, um, they got real rubber wheels and they really move and they roll around, you know. But, uh, let me go on with some more instructions about this game. So, basically, you're going to set up the game and have all your pieces on the list. All right, so you're going to fit everybody at start, or at least try to, at the start space. Pick a person to go first. They're going to go, they're going to roll this die, okay? And they're going to move to that colored space that's indicated in the die roll, all right? So, um, the object of the game is shop or start your, en shop or start your engines. Roll a die to move across the board and stack items from your grocery list in your cart, okay? So, uh, be the first to get everything on your list and check out to win, all right? And that's that. So now the first time you play, you're going to pop the grocery list out of the uh, the cardboard sheet. All right, just make sure you don't rip it because it it's, it's like regular cardstock paper. But set up, okay, each shopper chooses a cart. Silly cart, smiley cart, speedy cart, or stylish cart, all right? All right, so now um, each shopper takes the grocery list that matches their, their colored cart, their cart's color. Place the list in front of you, okay? And you're also going to take eight grocery items, two of each color, one of each shape, okay? And you're going to put them on your list like so. They say, you know, you put the loaf of bread in your cart, okay? But for a challenge, place the bread in your grocery list and start the game with an empty cart. 
which doesn't really matter. So anyway, place the rest of the items on the matching color sections of your grocery list, like so, okay? And it should look like this, all right? Shuffle the coupon cards and place them face down on the board in the coupon cards space right here, all right? Uh, line up all your carts, line up all the carts at the start space, like so, almost like a choo-choo train, okay? And that's it. So, now, uh, who goes first? Youngest, youngest shopper goes first and play moves to the left, okay? Uh, just pick a play to go first and that's it. So, on your turn, you're gonna roll a die, okay? Uh, move your cart to the next space that matches the color you rolled. So, let's just say, for example, I rolled yellow, so now... I'm going to move my cart to the yellow space right here at start there, whatever. So now, okay, stack a grocery item in your cart that matches the color you landed on. If you, so you're going to take, if you got green, it even has this. So that's what you're going to get, all right? So if I got, I rolled a green, I would pick from my green list, part of the list, and put that right there, okay? So now, uh, stack a grocery item in your cart that matches the color you landed on. If you don't have any items on your list that match that color, the, the color you landed on, don't add anything. Okay. Then it says for, for this space over here. Okay. Which I rolled first before. The coupon space. So, um, did you land on a yellow coupon space? Take a coupon card and do what it says. Then put it back at the bottom uh, of the pile, okay, so, yeah, I'll, I'll read another one, it's like that, two for one fun, add two items of any color, and then you're gonna put them in the bottom of the deck, okay, and, uh, that, that's basically it, that's the game pretty much, uh, now, now it's the next chopper's turn, keep playing until you get everything on your list, then it's time to check out, okay, so I'll tell you how to do that right now. So, but first, passing of the shoppers. If another shopper is already on the same on a space you would move to, move ahead to the next further space that matches the color you rolled. So, if I if if I rolled, if I'm purple and I roll a yellow, so now I'll go to the next one that matches the color I rolled to the yellow yellow, and I'll take a card. Or if it's blue, then I would go to the next blue space. Okay. And players are going to be going around, like I said before, you know, go around the board, racing around, trying to get everything on their list. All right. So you may swerve into the passing lane. Okay. Which is this over here. Or in any of these where you see the skid marks and stuff. Okay. So you may pass into the passing lane. They make it comical too. Like you ran over stuff and just that you hit stuff. But anyway, um... You may swerve into the passing lane and move around the shop, other, other shoppers, but don't lift your cart from the from the game board as you move it. You you have to keep on rolling out like that. You can't just take it and move it. All right. So um, my groceries fell. There's no penalty for falling groceries. When any of your groceries fall, you may restack all of them, even the ones that didn't fall. Okay. Uh, if they fall during another uh, shopper's turn. Just restack them. The other shopper continues their no their turn as normal. I house rule the game in which that if you whatever falls, you got to put it back in your list to make it more challenging, and then try to get them back in your cart on other turns. Okay. Anyway, um, and this is cute. It says you could say beep beep as you pass the shoppers. That's how cards say excuse me. That's how cards say excuse me. <laughs> All right. So anyway. How to stack groceries. To keep your groceries in, in your cart, you'll have to stack them carefully. Okay? So, all the groceries items have pegs and holes which fit together like this. Try stacking bigger items at the bottom like this. Okay? How to check out. I'm back. Cool. Alright, so, how to check out. Okay? Once you've stacked everything from your grocery list in your cart, it's time to check out. Roll and move as normal. Okay, but there's no need to stack any more items. You've got them all. So instead of taking a coupon card when you land on a coupon space, take an additional turn. Once you've reached the green space by the tire tracks, okay? 
You don't have to land there by exact count. Move your card to the checkout. Okay? How to win. The first shopper to reach the checkout with all their items stacked in their carts wins. The winner gets to use the lever on the bottom of their cart to launch their groceries and celebrate. Yay! Alright, final thoughts about the game. Alright, so... Final thoughts. Now, what do I have to with this game? Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, the game's okay. You know what I mean? It's for kids. What do you expect? But it's a great game for parents to play with their kids. Because um, it kind of shows them, like, uh, what's what. And, like, you know, it's like a matching game in a sense, too. You know? And it's kind of got, like, a dexterity gameplay in it. You know? So, I like the game. I like the components in the game. The shopping carts are really cool. The, uh, the, the food and stuff that you got to get on the list. Those little components, those pieces, you got, you got a stack on the cart, the shopping cart. That's pretty cool. I like them. Uh, I thought about Shopkins when I got this game, when I saw this game. when I, you know, um, I've been looking at it on Amazon for a while, but then I saw it at a Walmart for the same price. And I'm like, you know what? Let me grab it. So, you know, this way I don't have to wait. You know, I just see it now. I grab it and that's it. Uh, I, I, I could have waited, but I don't want to really. It doesn't matter to me really. I mean, you know. But uh, definitely, if you want, you know, wait. See if you can find it at a thrift shop or a garage sale for a few bucks or less. You know, uh, that that's basically it. But, um, you know, the game board is kind of long a little bit to make the track. Uh, I like the coupon cards, but it's, it, it's a giveaway, man. Like, they're, they're really giving it, they're giving the game away to you. They're, they're throwing the game at you to win, you know, by, like, uh, having just, like, totally positive cards. That's just because... I would think, my opinion, no offense, you know, never, I'm just saying, but anyway, it's it, but the game's geared towards kids, so they want the kids to be happy playing the game, they don't want the feeling of losing or anything, so there's nothing really bad about the cards at all, like, don't miss a turn, you know, like, uh, you know, miss a turn, or, you know, take away some food off your, you know, your wagon, you know, nothing to hinder any players, you know, or opponents in the game to be losing, or whatever, you know, to, to, to win, or whatever. Whatever. Anyway, so th the game's a nice game. You know, it, it's a fun game for what it is for for kids. Um, the shopping was are cool. I like how you know you gotta just you know stack up everything on your cart. It's fun. I have this little house rule here that like um, you know if if you're if if you do knock over your opponent's you know stuff, then um, you know. They would have to, you know, like, you would miss a turn, but they would have to, you know, re-get those items on their list and put them back on their list. Or if, if, if you, you know, yourself knock over the stuff on your own cart, then you got to put the stuff back on your list and then try to get them again as a challenge, you know? But other than that, the game's great, you know, it, it, it's cool, it's fun, I like it, you know, it's not that bad, it's colorful. Uh, I like, you know, like celebrating at the end. If you win, you know, you, you use the lever, you press the lever down and the shopping cart dumps all the food out. So, you know, it's fun. It's comical. You know, it's something for the kids to look forward to if they win. Yeah, you know, it gets them more happy and excited about the game, you know. So, I mean, you know, as I said, if you see it, if this is the kind of, kind of game for you that, you know, type of game that you, you think that maybe if you got kids, you know, your kids would like it, you know, um... It, it's not a bad game to get, you know, it's exciting. I mean, it, there's this, there's a few times when uh, I was playing the game and, uh, you know, other players would get close to winning. They would have their food, everything on a list stacked in a shopping cart, and then just about make it to win on the green space to go to the checkout space right away, you know, but then all of a sudden so-and-so gets, you know, uh, you know, the um the last thing on that item so they're right behind you so if if you you know don't roll i mean if you roll you don't have to roll exact to get to check out but like if they roll you know the next turn they roll you know green or you know blue or whatever that any space is ahead of the green space to go to checkout and they got all this stuff 
just like another, another opponent does, then they're going to go right ahead and win the game. So it's like unexpected, like who's going to win? Because you never know what's going to happen. It's kind of random. You know, like other, other players in the game will, you know, like let's just say, for example, uh, you know, I'm just going to use an example. Like, you know, Red Cart gets all this stuff in, and they're, they're like way behind than any other player. There's a, there's a definite chance that they'll be able to catch up real quick. But a roll of the die to go to space, space, space. And then all of a sudden, you know, even if you go, if blue cart lands on a shopping coupon space, whatever, a coupon space, gets a card. Now they're able to add up all their stuff and get their stuff that they need on their list fast enough too. And then roll, you know what I mean? Like a color on the die to get them up quicker. So it's really unexpected how the race is going to turn out and who's going to win, you know? So that's kind of like what I like about the game too, because you'll be winning all of a sudden unexpectedly. So and so who was losing, you know, like by a mile was is gonna like win because they just finished up with their cart, and now they're ahead of you by two spaces, while you already got everything on your list before them, but your space is behind them, and then all they gotta do is roll a green, and they they get they're off to the checkout, and then they win. Too much to talk about about this game. I know that. It's just a basic game. It took like 20 minutes to like do a review about this game. Who cares? But, you know, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a fair game. It's, it's a nice game. You know, it's cool. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much basically it. That's uh, Grocery Go-Karts, the board game. That's it for today, everybody. Looks like this game is over. Board game, freak out. Dun 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 d